And ladies and gentlemen, I now have much pleasure in calling on the Right Honourable the Prime Minister, Mr. R.G. Menzies, to declare the music bowl open. Sir, Your Excellency, Mr. Premier, Lord Mayor, and ladies and gentlemen, it's a good night for me in one sense and a bad one in another. Normally, if you gave me an audience of 20,000 silent people, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to stop me for three quarters of an hour. <laughs> but I'm on a time limit tonight. At five minutes, they strike the big drum and I'm off and the orchestra <laughs> is on. Still, I think I've time to say, first of all, two words of personal explanation. Didn't like that reference to the fifth test match very much. <laughs> because, much to my sorrow, I'm going back to Canberra tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> and the second thing I want to say is that my wife, who's a very, very old friend of Mrs. Sidney Meyer, is desperately sorry that she can't be here tonight, but she doesn't control uh, the existence of granddaughters, of whom she's looking after two at this moment. Now, sir, all I want to say in my four and a half minutes remaining <laughs> is this, a minute and a half each, this is a great night, I think, in the history of music in Australia. One of the great things about our time has been the extent to which musical people have brought music to hundreds of thousands of others who are not technically musical, but who love music. And this great bowl will open a new era in the opportunity for musical appreciation in Australia. And so it's a very great night in the history of music in Australia. In the second place, it's a very great night in the history of Melbourne. Melbourne used to be regarded once as a singularly unadorned city compared with one or two others that I know of. Melbourne, in fact, began with few advantages except stout hearts and a willingness to look into the future. And it has made itself, under wise leadership, one of the lovely cities of Australia, one of the lovely cities of the world. And this is a great night in the history of Melbourne because it has now added to it in this place, this quite remarkable structure, this quite remarkable opportunity for people to be able to hear music. And for all I know, speeches. You never know to what uses these places may be put. <laughs> and the third thing that I want to say to you is, and I'm very happy to say this, this is a great night for the Meyer family. <laughs> I'll say nothing about Kenneth Meyer. He'll be uh, cajoling you with fine words long after I'm a mere memory. But I would like to say that I had the great honor of the friendship of Sidney Meyer who was a very remarkable man, much more remarkable perhaps than many of you may know. Because, first of all, you know, he was a migrant. That's interesting. He came here as an immigrant. And he came here with no advantages except his own courage and spirit and brain and sensibility. And he built up a great empire as a merchant with courage Anybody who looks back on some periods of vicissitude in the history of this city will remember that his motto always was, when in doubt, let's go forward, let's build something new. 
Let's do something that will keep people busy and happy and employed. He was a very great merchant and a very great citizen. But on top of all that, he was a great artist. He had the most delicate sensitivity to the great literature of the world. He could discuss it with ease and with understanding. He had a great love of beautiful things and he collected them around him. He was a very, very remarkable citizen and one of the greatest treasures that he collected about him was Merlin Meyer, his wife. It's 25 years since he died. And somebody said to me today, I don't mind telling you it was my sister who has a little more imagination, naturally, than I have. She said, isn't it interesting to think that that great silver structure will commemorate the silver anniversary of Sidney Meyer's death. This is a tribute to him and his widow, will I'm sure remember tonight with pleasure. I'm sure that she will always look at this bowl with her family and say, though we have played some part and a great part in giving it to the city and to the country, it was his original vision and character and quality which made all this possible. And so, my time having expired, I say to you, this is properly a great night in the life of the Meyer family. I have the great honor, sir, to declare it open.